Miss Rachel, I wanted to give you a lesson today for practicing math. Um, it's called the geometric form of multiplication. So you might want to pause the video now so that you can write down the name of the lesson in your journal and maybe at the top of your page to give it a nice title. So what we're going to be doing is a lot like the checkerboard. Uh, we're going to be multiplying first 23 times 46. And you see on the paper that I've written it out, our tens are blue and our units are green. And that should be familiar. And I only have very small graph paper, so I've traced over some of the lines to give us bigger squares to work in. So the first thing we're going to do is mark out 23 on our paper. So just like with the checkerboard, we're going to put that number along the bottom here. So I'll show you how that works. I'm going to first draw a dot right here. And then we're going to count out our units. So for 23, how many units do we have? We have three, so let's count three. One, two, three. I'm going to put another dot there and make this line darker. And then we're gonna write the three underneath there. And now we're gonna count out our tens. So from that dot, we're gonna count out two tenths. One, two. And we'll put a dot there. And connect those. And we'll write a two down there. So here we have twenty-three. Two tens and three units. Is that three backwards? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to count out our forty-six. And just like on the checkerboard, that number goes up along the side here. So starting from our original point, we're going to count out our units. In 46, we have six units, right? So let's count out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I'm going to put my dot there, and I'm going to connect those dots. So there are our six units. Now we're going to count out our tens. We have four tens. So from that dot, we're going to count one, two, three, four. Put the dot and connect the lines. And then we have four tens there. Now we need to complete our rectangle here. So we're going to be connecting all of the dots. So our unit dot here and unit dot here, we're going to connect those. See it makes a big rectangle here. We're going to keep going across and connect here. Then we're going to connect here and here. I hope those lines are dark enough for you to see. Okay. So now we've drawn it out, now we have to do the multiplication. <clears throat> We're going to first multiply units times units. 3 times 6 is 18. So if you don't know that math fact, you can always count the number of squares in here. You'll find that there are 18, right? So let's write a nice big 18 in here in our rectangle. All right, now let's multiply tens times units. Two times six is 12. Oh, sorry, I should. But these are tens, so we have to remember there's a zero here. We're really multiplying 20 times six, right? So two times six we know is 12, and to multiply by tens we just add that zero. So here, we don't just have 12, we have 120. Now let's multiply units times tens over here. 3 times 4 is also 12, and we add that 0 because we're multiplying by tens. So here we also have 120. 
And now we're going to multiply tens times tens. Two times four is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? But here we have two zeros. Tens times tens gives you hundreds. So two times four is eight. But we add the two zeros. So in here we have 800. So now we're going to add up everything that we've made here. So we have 800. What's the next smallest number? Oh, we have two 120s. And we have an 18. Make sure you're lining up your categories. Make sure your units line up with units, tens with tens, and hundreds with hundreds. That's really going to help when you're adding them up. All right, so zero plus zero plus zero is, plus eight is eight. Zero, two plus two is four, plus one is five. Eight plus one is nine, plus one is 10. So our answer here is 1,058. And now we get to do the fun of coloring in our geometric multiplication. So here I have my colors for units, tens, and hundreds. When we multiply units times units, we get units. So I'm going to lightly color in this whole rectangle with some green. And I don't want to color it so darkly that you can't see the number inside, right? All right. When we multiply tens times units, we get tens. So I'm going to color that one in with blue for tens. Again, coloring in lightly so you can still see the number there. And here we again have tens times units, which gives us tens again. And when we multiply tens times tens, we get hundreds. So I'll color that one in red for hundreds. And this looks like a familiar pattern, doesn't it? It's starting to kind of look like a checkerboard. So if you try larger problems with this, it really will look a lot like the checkerboard. It can get really large. So you can multiply numbers into the hundreds, thousands, ten thousands if you want. Um, just following this pattern, counting out units and tens, if you were to do a problem in the hundreds, you would just keep going along that line and going taller also. So. This is our lesson for today, geometric form of multiplication. I hope you have fun with it. Let me know if you have questions or if um, you get confused at any point and I can help you through it. I hope you have fun. Bye.